arms race a game mode introduced in dlc number five the designers cut it's a battle royale type scavenger hunt with NPCs instead of real humans. While this sounds easy, I continuously have people coming into my stream asking for help because they can't beat it. Fear not. My name is Rocky and I have compiled a, a few essential tips so you can get that sweet, sweet arms race loot. Tip number one, know your circle. As soon as you jump into arms race, you need to be pulling up your map and figuring out where the heck the storm is. This determines where you need to go and where is too risky to go. If you do not like a circle placement, do not use it. Just simply save and quit and try again. Tip number two, know your locations. There are some excellent pieces of gear in this mode, but there are also quite a few duds. Know which piece of gear you want want or need before you jump. As of this video's release, the clear favorites for best gear are the plasma coil, the kick charger, the boogeyman, and the torrent. Other good options also include the tizzy, trickshot, dark army, and the infernal wish. As you can see, there are a couple of places you probably don't want to bother with. Tip number three, avoid unnecessary mobs. You will very quickly run out of time if you have a deadly tea party with the dozens of goons that make up the journey to get to the chest you're looking for. Avoid them. They are meaningless. Tip number four, know the best basic weapon brands. You will kill things a lot faster and live a lot longer if you know the brands to pick up and to avoid. I generally trust most Malawan Atlas and COV pistols, Malawan SMGs, Doll and COV assault rifles, Hyperion and Jacob shotguns. Pro tip by the way, if you can score a stagecoach shotgun with a high pellet count, then enemies will go flying. I do not trust launchers of any kind and most weapons from Tor, Jacobs, Vladov, Hyperion, and T Dior. Of course, they all have exceptions to the rule, like the homing Merv T Dior or the double penetrating sticky shotgun called the Bang Stick from Tor. But if you know that already, then you probably don't need this guide. Tip number five movement and target priority. Unlike the rest of Borderlands, there is an element of skill and tactics with Arms Race that gets the better of many newcomers. When you come across a high traffic area that you want to fight in and not just run by, it's better not to just jump into the middle and tank all the bullets. It's better to play edges and around corners like other shooters. However, as soon as you notice you are getting low on health, you need to make a move towards the middle of the enemies. Focus on one enemy that you can get their health down to a low amount, but leave them alive. This is your lifeline. When you inevitably go down, you can look over at this enemy, pop them, and get right back up with full health. This is called forcing a down. Forcing a down can be really helpful as an escape tool if you find yourself in a bad spot. Obviously, there are more tips and tricks to know about arms race. I feel like these are the essentials to get you going and what you absolutely need to know to consistently win at arms race. But let me know down in the comments below anything that I missed and we can include them in a future video. So hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any other content. Otherwise, love your faces. Hope you have a wonderful day.